Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my fun yard and we will do something special tomorrow. Uh, so my husband, he's asked me to go out here to pick some elderberries and he could try to make them, you know, turn them into coil. And uh, we, I, I think I did mention to you in the last video that uh, we have never tried the black snake elderberries before, but uh, apparently they are uh, um, uh, edible. My husband, he did a search on the internet and the people say they are good to make them coil. So uh, we're going to cut maybe one or two kilos. <laughs> so I don't know how it turned out. I will let you know in the future. But anyway, the so video today, I just want to show you how they will uh, look like when they are ripened. You can see here, I got, I think, two types of the berry in here. One, the ripened ones, and the other color, in, they are not ripened yet. Uh, let's see, you will see the, oh, the, uh, the one that ripened, they look like, like deep burgundy color, like this. And the one, you can see this one is still green. Um, for the other variety, they are, uh, um, poisonous, the green one, they are poisonous if they are still green and also the stem as well. So uh, I think they could, they could be like that for the black snake elderberries as well. So we'll try to pick pick on the green one off when we make the coil. But I think sometimes we, if only few mix in there, I don't think that hurt as much, you know. Alright, so let me to put the camera down and then I just have it. Oh well, you know the birds have been been busy on this bush. You can see that a lot of the, of the stem left over here. That means the birds have eaten a lot of them, except for this one as well. Uh, every morning, a lot of birds, they on the bush. And my other bushes as well. Over there as well, you can see the, the very dark ripening over there. And I got my friends over today, she helping me. Happy to over there. She's hiding over there actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I will show you that's what. Oh, let me walk a little bit closer. Um, they are beautiful when they in bloom in the spring and when you walk to the garden, the scent, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so this is the berries that normally we use this one to make elderberry wine. You can see that the birds have been eating a lot of them too. Look at that. So I do need to come to pick them as well. Maybe this afternoon when I have a time. But today I just want to show you the elderberry. Maybe you have time to mix it as well. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, let me come over here. I want to show you the other berry that you can see they self seeded a lot. I've been pulling them out, maybe quite a few, or a lot of them, you know, throughout the season. But over here, oh, let me give you the update about my queens. Look at that, my queens. I planted the tree together with you, I think two years ago. This is the first year I got the fruit. Look at that. They are big. I don't think this is the bug much in here. And maybe it's my scarf. But oh, wow, look at that. Smear the queens. Look at that. Wow, they're so big. So happy about them. This one though, I got two foot on the branch. Yeah, but uh, that means they won't get as big like the one with the single stem. Wow. All right, I want to show you the other elderberries over here. This one is a very great variety and they look very pretty. And they got the deep red color of the berry over there as well. I hope you can see. But let me come a little bit closer because I want to show you how the berries look like inside. Okay, quite awkward in here. I got a lot of roses. Try to avoid. Otherwise, they try to talk into my skin. Right, I'm here. Let's see. See this one. Oh yeah, this one have a lovely color. You see that? We could do some research if it's see, this berry. We can yeah, we can use for of the white as well but i tell you that the bush i over here i already have so many berries every year oh by the way when i harvest them i just cut you know the, the end of the stem over here and they recommend that you to put them in the freezer and after that they own frozen and you can separate the stem and the berry much easier than to take them uh when they are still in the fresh like that because they get 
to get uh, squished very, very easy. Oh, look, my friend, she already have <laughs> the whole basket over here. But you can see that the birds have been eating a lot of them. Hi, it's welcome back. So actually, I think today maybe the fourth day after the, I filmed the first clips or um, like the clip that when I have eaten the black slice elderberries, you know, the berries uh, together with my friends. But I still have quite a bit of the berries on this bush, but they're still green. So I don't think I will have it them today, but I'm going to have it from the other bush over there because i know they've been ready for a while and i really want to have it them before the birds eat them on so far in this season we haven't had have any and we haven't made any wine in this season yet so uh elderberries why is our favorites favorites because they are so, so beautiful Okay, so here is the black slate elderberries, you know the berries. You can see a lot of green ones still on the bunch here, so I won't have with them. Maybe I should leave them here for the bush off of the bus. But the bush over here, they ripening really really well. Uh, I all bound with the roses over here. You can see that. Look at it. The old black color like this, they're really ready. A few of them, they already dry out, but that could be fine. But you can see this bunch over here, or this stem over here. Only the stem left because the birds are at the moon. But I still have a lot of them here. So, oh, this one's quite snap up. And I might do some trimming as well because I know they, they grow so big and they can't go into the area of my roses as well. So I will go around to trim them a little bit down over here. If you remember, I just uh, show you in the video like how I prune my elderberries. Now I prune this bush was quite hard and I pruned my black slice elderberry bush as well. And let me turn around to see how tall is it now. And can you see that? It's quite bright. I can't really see, but I think around uh, six or seven meter tall. Can you believe that? It's just so tall. Yeah, anyway, they just grow, grow, grow so big. All right, let me just get the, the scissors and then let me get the back as well because I really want to go pick them before the sun, you know, get a little bit hotter or the, uh, the weather get a little bit hotter because I don't like the heat. Oh, by the way, uh, let me show you the blooms of the poet's wife rose uh, because I think a few days ago, I just showed you in a video, but on that day, this bush, it wasn't, you know, the flank that wasn't open, so I couldn't show you, but here's the see, it's beautiful. Uh, the blooms, they don't last long though. Most of these with Austin rose, they don't last long. But this bush, typically, it's um, not a little bit longer than the other bushes or the other variety because it kind of next to the uh, elderberries here because it brings quite a lot of shade for it. It's got only a few hours hot sun in the afternoon. But most of the day, it got shade by the elderberries. And so far, it's done amazing. And this one can tolerate a little bit more shade, actually. And this one as well, this bush away. Uh, smaller yeah i think my, right at the beginning of this season maybe i did something uh, you know not quite right to it so so far this one still need to you know catch up with the bush on my right side oh by the way so uh, my husband met in the corridor here i have to say they so so nice and they taste delicious for me anyway the recipe my husband used i feel the corridor a little bit sweet so i prefer to add some ice in there uh, and maybe even yeah, if you don't put ice in there maybe you add a little bit of water because i feel a little bit sweet for me but i i i love it they're just so so lovely uh i did get some to my other friends to try or because on that day we, we do the birthday party for my daughter i i i serve them as well i serve the corridor and they all love it 
yeah anyway they are delicious so you can see the color here they still have kind of a uh, burgundy red color okay like why but i have to say the color not as vibrant as the elderberry white that we just show you the video how to make elderberry white last year they move so elderberry white the color is more refined and more vibrant i could say yeah but i have to understand that because you know i did um, point it out at the beginning of the video that the inside of the berry here they they don't have a red color like the other berries inside here is more green i think the color they catch uh they get for me i think it's for the skin you know from the skin of this berry all right let me go around to have it those berry because i don't want the bird eat them bone So normally I wait until they are really white so they won't have much of the young or uh, what is it the green berry on the on the berry or on the bunch so I don't have to take the mobs that much many I you can see I've been picking them they are uh, sometimes oh, one or two uh, the green berry but most of them they are you know leaves or spider web or sometimes you know but worms uh, so mostly I try to clean them off and then after that, I can put the you know the the berry tread. You see the the snail. Uh, put them in the fridge tread away, or I can put them in the uh, freezer when I can empty my freezer out a little bit because our freezer is very full at the moment. And you can see this one. It is but warm. Look at that. Oh, I don't know what kind of worm, but they they have been eating. The belly. And here is it looking much better. I try to trim uh, the, a lot of branches or the base of the bush. Let me 
try to zoom me in if you can see a little bit better but anyway a little bit more airflow between the other plants as well and i have it oh by the way i will do more some uh pruning in that winter early spring um anyway so here are the berries i got um not sure how many kilo i got in here but quite big and heavy bag i think maybe three or four kilos berries so maybe my husband can make two budget uh so normally two budget how many he got like one batch there were two kilograms of berry i think like for well, five liter so maybe in here we got 10 liter of wine uh yeah anyway so uh i got quite a lot of the bunches they are big like this but a lot of the bunches that the bird have been eaten them example few few here you can see a few you know stem kind of skeleton here even some like like this when i trim the branch down i saw some berry okay i collect i collect them anyway uh yeah i will find the room in the freezer and uh, after that i find the time and separate them and for my hus husband to make wine so yeah so i think that is for the video today i hope that you enjoyed this video and here you see my elderberry oh i haven't checked about the elderberry from that bush actually um yeah anyway i know they got quite a bit of berry there but now i can see some bunches i just showed you the other day but now they're already gone <laughs> anyway uh yeah it's nice for the bird to have some food anyway that is thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye